All right. Hey, everyone. Um, so today's topic, it's Friday, and today's topic, I want to talk about the different stages of a woman's life and what we all need nutrition-wise as we're in each stage of our lives. Since we're all females in this group, I thought this was kind of the perfect topic. I'm going to try to keep it at 15 minutes or less. We're going to talk about this, and then we're also going to talk about um, why I chose to get started with Shackley. So let's get started. Okay, so we are talking about the different stages of a woman's life. And as you can see, there's four different stages we're going to go through today. Young adult, women on the go, that would be like in your childbearing years, menopause, and then healthy aging, meaning after menopause. All right, so young adults is going to be teens to late 20s. And this is like the perfect time um, even starting earlier, I think, uh, perfect time for establishing a foundation for a long and healthy life. So really teaching your kids how to eat a well-balanced diet of fruits, vegetables, protein, what are complex carbs, including calcium and vitamin D for overall bone health, also vitamin D for immune health. Uh, making sure to teach them how to hydrate themselves with water versus with sugary drinks like Gatorade and soda. And then making sure that your teens and young adults are aware that regular physical activity isn't just great for your physical health and keeping weight down, but it's also good for your mental and emotional health as well. Okay, moving in to women on the go. So that would be like late 20s to 40s. That's kind of your childbearing years. Um, so just making sure that you have a good balance between exercise and nutrition are critical during the stage in your life. Typically in this stage of our lives, Women have maybe climbed up the corporate chain a little more. If you are working um, for a corporation, you maybe have a job that's getting a little stressful. You also have maybe children or other people to manage in your household. So things that are really great for you, if you are planning a family, make sure you take a prenatal vitamin with folic acid and iodine. So multivitamin is great for this person, um, making sure that you maintain a healthy weight right now making sure that you start doing weight-bearing exercise, meaning strength-based exercise, because starting in our mid to late 20s, females lose 2% muscle mass every year. So if you're losing 2% of your muscle mass every year and you don't strength train, you're always in a state of decline with your muscles, which leads to osteoporosis, osteopenia, that leads to falling, it leads to muscle atrophy. And so you don't want that, right? So if you haven't already, make sure that you start weightlifting and then obviously avoid smoking and reduce the amount of alcohol. Coming into your menopause years, so typically 40s and 50s, um, really maintaining that healthy lifestyle habits. So there has been a lot of studies out saying that soy foods can help reduce the frequency and severity of hot flashes. Now I know a while ago, I think it was late seventies, early eighties, a study came out saying soy was so bad for you. And you know, it, it um, creates breast cancer and things of that nature. That has been found to be untrue. And what has been found to be true is actually two plus servings of soy foods can actually help reduce menopause hot flashes. Also, if you have breast cancer, when you, after you are treated, most hospitals give you soy-based protein powder to use because that has been shown to be more beneficial than whey or plant, traditional plant-based uh, protein powder. So it is okay for you to eat soy food. Um, they say to keep it at about like two servings a day. All right, so making sure you're getting enough calcium and vitamin D, making sure you can manage the stress and sleep like we talked about before. Cortisol level is stored in the belly. It is a fat storing hormone. Cortisol is a stress hormone. So when your stress is high, it's going to hold on to all that belly fat and it won't let go. When we are in menopause, the cortisol level is high because our body is under stress from the different levels of estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone in our bodies. So cortisol level automatically increases. So you do need to do things to manage your stress level so that you can reduce that cortisol level. So again, some things that you can do is find things that you like to do and do those every day, making sure that you are getting good sleep, making sure that you, you know, can pray or meditate or whatever it is that you believe in 
um, do that because that will actually help you reduce your stress. All right, obviously get to and maintain a healthy weight. I know that can be very hard when you're in this phase of your life, but that would be also mean reaching out to someone that knows what they're doing. Um, I know like right now I'm going through some hormone issues. And so I reached out to um, somebody that I knew that knew how to deal with it. And they've really helped me in balancing out my hormones because um, I was about five months in, I couldn't get it on my own. And I like have a background in nutrition. And so reaching out to someone who has more knowledge than me has really been helpful. And then of course, making sure that you're getting your screenings, you need done like mammograms and continue those weight bearing exercises. So continue lifting weights minimum three days a week. And then healthy aging is going to be menopause and beyond. So for most people, 55 and beyond, you really want to live a long and healthy life, right? The last thing we want to do is like, I want to live a long life being stuck in a nursing home, not able to do anything. Nobody wants that. We want to also be healthy while we live long. So achieve and maintain a healthy weight again. Maybe do a bone density test or a vitamin D level and see if you need to increase any of those. Omega-3s for heart health. Again, increasing calcium and vitamin D. Again, managing stress and sleep. It's been shown in every slide. It means it's very important. And weight bearing exercise, you need to continue. Now, some people, 55 and beyond, you may not be able to continue lifting the same amount of weight you used to. Now, some, of, some people can, some people can't. You might need to change your workout strategy up. And please know that even using something as simple as a band is a weight bearing move and can give you lots of benefits, okay? All right, so women of all ages, a healthy diet. Let's talk about that quick. Making sure that you're eating a variety of foods, including seven plus servings of colorful fruits and vegetables, not juice, in your diet every day. So I would challenge you tomorrow, can you eat seven plus servings of fruits and vegetables? Try it and see how close you can get. Get plenty of whole grains, beans, and legumes. Now that means, you know, um, rice, quinoa, oatmeal, things of that nature. Choose lean meats. So we're talking fish, poultry, um, dairy options, if that works for you, soy foods. We do want to try to reduce the amount of red meat that we are eating. Not saying red meat is bad. It's not. But we also probably don't want to eat red meat every single day. So try to change out maybe some chicken or turkey, pork fish for that red meat. And then select healthy fats, eat more omega-3 fatty acids like olive oils, nuts, seeds, and avocados. And then really try to avoid trans fats and saturated fats. As we get older, it gets harder for our body to work through those things that aren't healthy for us. So really try to avoid them if you can. All right, making healthy food choices every single day can be hard, but this is where Vitalizer fills in those nutrition gaps for you. So I know most of you are taking Vitalizer. So we've got the women's, I think most of you are taking the women's. This is the gold, this is for women 50 plus, And it looks like this, so very similar to Vitalizer Women. This can just come without vitamin K for those people that um, can't take vitamin K. So again, we've got that probiotic here, the vitamin um, B here, your two multivitamins, and then your two omega-3s. So this is a great um, strip to continue to take for forever. You can switch from women down to Vitalizer Gold at any point that you need to. But right here, you know that you're getting all the nutrients that your body needs and you're really getting that gut health probiotic that is crucial to immune health as well. All right, of course, it includes the smart delivery system, meaning that all of them are gonna dissolve in less than 30 minutes in the stomach, designed to enhance absorption of the folic acid. And if it's not dissolving in less than 30 minutes, it means that your vitamins aren't dissolving properly in your stomach and you're just pushing them out. So if you have generic vitamins at home, do the water test like we talked about, put your vitamin in a glass of warm water and see if it dissolves. Okay, so we also, or Shackley also makes them uh, the vitamins so that they can be sustained release delivery into the certain areas that they need to be. For example, vitamin B12 needs to be delivered into small intestine. So that's where it will get absorbed best, okay? So you can see through here that Shackley has really thought about how exactly to uh, create these vitamins 
properly so that they are getting delivered to the proper organs that need to uh, break them down and put them back into our system so that we can really truly feel our best all the time. All right, so the slide says don't skip breakfast. Some of you might intermittent fast. Some of you might not eat breakfast. Some of you think breakfast is delicious. Um, I do intermittent fast at the moment, but I do still eat breakfast because I inter intermittent fast from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I eat my breakfast at 10 a.m. I eat my lunch between 12.30 and 1. I might have a midday snack if I'm hungry, and then I usually eat my supper at 5.30. So I'm still eating breakfast. It's just not right away in the morning. And yes, my breakfast does always include a life shake, except on Sundays when we have eggs and pancakes. But the life shake is my go-to because it's quick, it's delicious, it blends well, and it's a great way to get additional servings of fruit and, uh, fruit and vegetables into my diet. Like it says here, life shake, one shake does it all. It really does. I personally love the vanilla because you can mix it with anything but I also do love cafe latte and strawberry as well, just because it's nice to have something different to mix and match with. So you get more energy from it. it does keep you at a healthy weight because this is powered by leucine, which we don't talk enough about here. Um, leucine is an amino acid that helps you build muscle while burning fat at the same time. It is very hard for your body to do that. Your body typically can only do one or the other. It can either lose weight or it can burn or uh, build muscle. It has a hard time doing both, but that amino acid leucine helps to do both things. Most protein powders do not have that in there. Some maybe do, but they just don't have a lot of it in there. Shackley has the most amount that you're allowed to have by FDA in this life shape so that you are constantly burning fat while building muscle. It's amazing. And then there is some prebiotics in here to really help that healthy digestion and reduce that bloat. Okay, exercise. So what are the benefits of exercise? We all know these reduces the risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and some cancers. It helps to achieve and maintain a healthy weight. Exercise does reduce the feelings of depression and anxiety. Um, it builds healthy bones, muscles, and joints, and it promotes flexibility and balance. So what to do? Um, okay, so here's my thing. I'm a personal trainer. Don't really totally agree with these two things at the bottom. Um, I think your exercise needs to be specific to you. I strongly recommend all females need to be lifting weights a minimum of three days a week. Um, I think in order to do cardio, you do what works for you, but please remember cardio is stress on the body. So if you are someone who is going through premenopause or menopause, cardio is really not your friend. Your best bet is to do hit intervals once to twice a week, paired with three to four days a week of strength training. Now, if you want more help with exercise, please let me know. I will also preface that I do believe stretching and yoga is very important. So I do think everyone needs to be stretching probably every day, at least 10 minutes. And you do need to be incorporating yoga into your workout routine, routine at least one day a week. And it can be as short as 20 minutes of yoga. It doesn't need to be an hour long or 75 minutes of yoga, but yoga is essential to your mind. It is essential to your mental health and your physical health. So start incorporating that into your workouts. Okay, weight-bearing activities. So why do we need weight-bearing activities? You can just see here in the photo, normal bone up here at top, uh, bones with osteoporosis down here, see how much larger the circles are in the bones right here. You can see it's super frail, right? So we do not want that. So for most people, yep, women, their bones reach maximum density between the ages of 25 and 30, okay? So how can we support ourselves to continue our normal bone function is making sure that we're strength training at least three days a week, making sure we have a combination of nutrients working together to help prevent bone loss. And what is that? It's calcium and other minerals like magnesium, phosphorus, vitamin D, and protein. Women tend not to eat a lot of protein, and we really need to probably up our game on that. So females generally need about 0.8 grams of protein per pound they want to weigh. You know, I know you might think like that sounds like a lot, um, and it can be for some people. Like I'm right now at about 80 grams of protein I'm working on, between 80 and 90, I believe. Um, it's a lot. I don't really love meat, so it, it is hard for me to find things that have protein in them that are not meat related because I don't really love the taste of meat. Um, but it can happen. If you need help, reach out and let me know. 
So other key vitamins are vitamin A, C, E, B, and K, plus other minerals like zinc, copper, magnesium, and boron to help with fighting off osteoporosis and osteopenia. Here's another thing that can help you is Osteomatrix. This helps reduce the risk of osteoporosis. I currently take this because last year at my last doctor visit, my physical, my doctor had said, um, you need to get on a calcium and magnesium supplement. You're now 40 and we you know, don't wanna see any bone loss from you. I do have osteoporosis that runs in my family. So I don't want that as well. I also do not eat a lot of dairy because um, my husband is dairy free for medical issues. So we just don't have a lot of dairy in the, around our house. I will occasionally eat yogurt, um, but it's not on a regular basis. So I do take Osteo Matrix, which helps me to get that essential calcium that I need. It gives me some more vitamin D, also gives me that magnesium and the vitamin K that I need to help maintain strong bones. So managing stress, we talked about this before. So I'll just touch on it a little bit now, but trying to get that really get seven to eight hours of sleep a night, identify the stressors in your life and see if you can't reduce or cut them out. Schedule personal relaxation time. Maybe that's just your stretching time at night for 10 minutes. Maybe it's getting a monthly massage. Maybe it's getting ooh, a massager like I got on Amazon. It is like amazing. If you guys want it, the link to it, let me know. I don't get commission for it or anything, but it is like this self massager. It's for the neck and back, but it's like amazing. You guys, we use it like every day we fight over it in our house. Um, but getting good nutrition really helps reduce the stress that your body is under that you might not realize. Exercising regularly. And then you can take um, botanical supports like ashwagandha, um, which actually does really work. So this is it, it's called stress relief. This is something that my hub takes every single day. Um, my son will take it on, there are weeks, you know, when you're in high school, when you have tests or maybe before a big performance is coming up or he might feel like he's under a lot of stress. So he'll take this then. My husband takes it most days out of the week. I take it occasionally when I feel like I'm in a stressful period in my life, I take this. Um, but in a lot of my clients take this and really what they say, and my husband says it's true too, is it really just helps you feel a sense of even. There is no like high anxiety or high stressful peak. It really just helps you feel centered and even throughout the day so that you can really tackle and manage the tasks and the things that you need to do that might feel overwhelming to you. So this stress relief is great for those of you that are feeling very stressed out or maybe in a stressful period of your life right now. This is a non-drowsy formula. Um, it relieves tension and stress. It's also not habit forming. Okay, so here's our some, here are some Shackley solutions for all stages. So women of all ages should be using a Vitalizer, um, should be using Vivix. I haven't talked a lot about Vivix. I do use it. Um, it helps the telomeres. I think I talked about it on my last Friday training. So that one, um, Osteomatrix is good for everyone because let's see, teens are not getting the nutrients they need, right? They're like one McDonald's and Chick-fil-A and like drinking Coke. They're definitely not getting the nutrients they need. Life shake. If you can get your kiddo to drink a protein shake, have them do this. And then stress relief complex. Like I said, my son's in high school. There are sometimes um, there's certain weeks where they do feel stressed out when they've got maybe the AP tests coming up or a lot of finals coming up. And that stress relief can just help them. Even if they're in college, it can just help them kind of um, get a little bit more centered and calm so that they can focus on what's to come next as opposed to worrying about what's next. All right, late 20s to 40, women really need to focus on the Vitalizer, the Osteomatrix, and Omega Guard, that's the fish oils. 40s to 50s during menopause, again, Vitalizer, Osteomatrix. Menopause Balance Complex has been super popular lately. I personally have not tried it. I do have a handful of my clients that get it on a regular basis, absolutely love it. What they have been saying about this is it truly does help them reduce their mood swings and their hot flashes. So this is if you're in menopause and you're having those severe symptoms, this menopause balance complex can help ease those symptoms. And then stress relief, because when you're in menopause again, remember cortisol level shoots up and we don't want that. We need to reduce that cortisol level and stress relief complex can help with that. And then 55 and beyond for healthy aging, Vitalizer Gold, Vivix, you can stay healthy longer, Omega Guard, 
CoQ Heart, so that's like CoQ10 is what that is, Cardiomax for eye health, and then a fiber plan in case you need a little bit extra fiber in your diet. All right, let me stop share here. Okay, so that was a little tutorial on women's health. I hope it helped you. I just wanna share really quick about um, my journey into Shackley. I know that I talked a little bit about it last week with my dad having cancer, but the other reason we decided to go with Shackley, it was that about four years ago, my husband was having really bad gut issues. Um, he was sick after every time he ate something and it didn't matter what he ate, he got sick. He was very bloated, um, nothing fit. We couldn't figure out what was going on. It came on very suddenly. He went to doctor after doctor appointment. Everyone said he was fine. He had um, like all sorts of body scans done and x-rays and ultrasounds and they couldn't find anything wrong with him. So the last doctor said, you're fine. It must just must be in your head. Well, he's clearly not fine if he looked like he was like nine months pregnant, literally. And he was sick every time he ate. Clearly you're not fine if that's happening to you, right? So I said, that's not true. That's not right. We got to find somebody. So I found a naturopath doctor out of North Carolina that worked with him. And she said, your, your gut is not working properly, right? Like you're stressed out beyond belief. And he was stressed out from work. You're stressed out beyond belief. You're not relieving that stress. So somehow the body has to get rid of that stress. And so for him, it culminated in gut issues. So she put him on a probiotic she put him on a bunch of other things, you know, no gluten, no dairy, elimination diet, basically, so we can kind of figure out what is it that's causing this besides the stress. So on top of learning how to de-stress, um, we did have to do a probiotic, which the one she gave us um, was like a pharmaceutical grade. It was really hard to find and it was quite pricey. So when someone said to me, why don't you try Shackley? And I saw that they had a probiotic for like less than $20. And it was the same exact ingredients that this natural path recommended. And I could get it super easily. I was like, yeah, we're going to try that. So we did the probiotic and my husband was like, it's amazing. Like, I feel so good on it. Um, the bloating has gotten do gone down. Obviously we did follow the elimination diet and the other things we worked with her on but the probiotic really did help. And knowing that this probiotic is the same grade, it's pharmaceutical grade, just like what she recommended, had the same ingredients, just like what she recommended, but yet I could get it at a much more cost-effective price. And I knew that, you know, it was probably healthier for him because it was, you know, organic and non-GMO. I don't, you know, who knows what the chemicals were that were put in the one she was recommending. So, he started taking that along with other things. Like I said, he takes the Neology, his personalized vitamins. He takes Vivix, he takes MindWorks, um, and he takes stress relief or stress relief complex as well. So just the probiotic is very helpful and beneficial. And that's also why I decided to get into the business of Shackley because I saw the results that was happening on my husband, myself, my dad, and then the doctor at Mayo Clinic saying, yeah, everyone should be taking Shackley. I was like, well, then why don't I help people know what Shackley is? I need to help people learn how they can live a healthy lifestyle. And if some people only want to just take some vitamins and drink a shake and they don't care about anything else, they still want to eat their McDonald's, that's fine. At least I know that they're getting all the nutrients they need in their vitamin strip and in their life shake, right? Because if that's seriously all they want to do, Fine. at least you're doing something for your body and for yourself to help you live a longer and healthier life. So if you have <clears throat> any other questions on women's health or on the business of Shackley, please let me know and I hope you guys have a great Friday.